Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are doing something super cool. So, uh, before we get to the super cool thing, let me just fill you guys in. Uh, Blood Moon canceled our Drake registration. We are stay staying on server 117. We're going to participate in probably the biggest war ever in Art of Conquest. Uh, it might be the last of like the humongous, giant, crazy wars, so uh, I don't want to miss out. Uh, I know some, some houses uh, don't, don't want to participate or are, are afraid of it. Um, I'm looking forward to this uh, because for like once, all of my friends besides the people in EG are all in one place. So we have like... Uh, Katie, we have Adina, we have Tain, we have all of Blood Moon, um, we, we have friends from Dora coming. So I think uh, it's going to be a ton of fun and we're going to learn a ton and if we learn a ton and we, ha we have some good friends, we can pass on some great information to you guys. Now, the, the only bad part is I have not spent significant time uh, sieging in many, many months. Uh, so I pretty much need to learn how to siege all over again. And honestly, I'm in a great position because I, I, I'm surrounded by amazing players uh, who are also willing to help and teach. So what I have to say is uh, five sieging replays uh, from Taint. He is a human player at this point in time, and he is going to do two battles going up against Sylph, two battles going up against Lich, and one battle going up against humans as far as sieging. We're going to watch them, we're going to ad pretty much admire all of it because it's absolutely insane. Uh, and we're going to see what we can take away from each battle. So uh, we're just going to go over Tain stuff once, uh, that way we, we have an idea of what we're working with. Uh, and also please keep in mind, Tain is like 10 million core power, uh, or 10 and a half million core power. He, he is ridiculously strong. Every person that we're putting forward for this, uh, for the sake of educational purposes, uh, is at least Taint's core power. Some go up to like 14 million, like, like just insane, insane. So uh, Taint's using a, a Ruby Dragon. Uh, this is a pretty perfect Ruby Dragon, maxed out Dragonix. He is using a sword, so his swords do have 1.8 uh, million health each. Crazy good stats. He has 98 in magic resist. Uh, of course, 10, 10 star equipment. His archers, 2.2 mil million attack, which is uh, amazing. 89% critical hit rate, which is wild. Um, 10, 10 star equipment, would, wouldn't expect an anything less. Uh, he is using one pack of saints, and for, for this pack of saints, it looks like uh, these are very good saints. Um, and I, I think uh, it, if, if we look at this a little bit more, uh, 10, 10 star equipment. Um, I mean, it's... It is next level. Now, he is using a borrowed uh, worm. He's got Rufio, and for Rufio, he has a, a 10 uh, wave power. Then he has uh, Avril. Now, for Avril, he is running with the Clash of Fate set, uh, the free-to-play codex. As far as the prisms, he has a level 9 uh, for the Fury one, which is going to just make her more powerful. He also ha is using uh, Valari, uh, who has the uh, Dragon Mage set, uh, Ring of Ragnar, and also has a another Fury uh, level 9. Uh, crazy good prisms. Uh, now we do have Avalon. He is running with a 5-star uh, Sky Totem. All of these things, by the way, are like 5-stars. Uh, Elena is there, and Elena is going with uh, Dragonic Defiance, which makes uh, a ton of sense, and that, that was level 9. There is Virion with Turn the Tide, this is at level 9 as well, uh, and he has the duplicating artifacts uh, on Virion, so he has two Virions for, for these sieges. Gan is there, uh, can't do it without Gan. Lunella is there, and Lunella has a level 9 uh, Heavenly Praise, um, crazy good prisms. Ophidia is there. This is a uh, really, really good uh, looking Ophidia with a level 9 Guardian. Uh, crazy. Nora is there. Level 10 Dragonic Storm. Uh, super damaging uh, Nora. Jax is also there. Um, Jax is going to add, add in some additional damage. Tox there. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Yip is there. Uh, Yip also has the main on him. So th that's actually pre pretty interesting. It's got to be the these uh, hashtag whale strats. Uh, let's see. We have Tox, uh, Belrog. Balrog's got the double sets on, uh, Bazrix with, with the uh, one set. Then we have a level 10 um, Dragonic Armor with, with the willpower on his Flores. Uh, Flores is built perfectly. 
Cezeo is there. Cezeo has level 9 Tiny, tiny Lady, which is huge uh, for the humans. Uh, finally, we have uh, Solaris or Zalion, uh, and he has the tag artifact on him. So for perspective for these people that uh, Tane's going up against, if we look at the trees for this player, who is the same core as Tain or way higher? Um, anywhere in there. I, I'm, I'm not going to look up everyone's uh, core, core power, but they're all at least 10 million core power, up to 14, 15 million core power. These trees have 56 million uh, health, um, crazy good stats. If you look at the magic resist, the magic resist is 157. Like, like that, That's just insane. They're using an onyx dragon. We can just assume everything is perfect, guys. Uh, so this is a perfect uh, onyx dragon. So let's uh, let's go check check this fight out and see what, what we can pick up for, from, from this fight. Uh, so the formation is re really cool, and Tain starts off with uh, duplicating his, his archers. So his very first thing is uh, the mirror. So he's got a bunch more archers in this middle portion. Makes a ton of sense for trying to blast through the trees. You can see one tree is getting down, the affliction is getting, getting procced. Tain jumps his dry... Uh, his Rufio in deep on the enemy dragon, uh, spin, spins it up there. Uh, that way the Leo's pride procs are going to come out and it's going to hit that dragon uh, super, super hard. Uh, the dragon's health, you can already see it is dropping down quite a bit. Uh, Taint does another blade storm to go into the dragon. The dragon's now now at half health. One second uh, Leo's pride comes out and there is another blade storm. So Taint is spinning away and it looks like he's starting to move down towards all of the Shroom Lords. So now Rufio is completely out of everything. O Ophidia is casting her, her snakes, uh, which is just wild to watch. Um, now Tan's doing his Basrix. It looks like the Basrix uh, bat splits uh, is, okay, I believe that's uh, directly in the middle hitting all of the, those Shroom Lords, uh, which is uh, huge. Uh, that's hopefully going to kill off a bunch of those little spores that, that are out there. And uh, another Bazarix Bat Splits coming down. This is going to be in the um, back middle portion, kind of near near the lane up, but directly in front of her, uh, hitting more Shroom Lords. Uh, Resurrections uh, coming from, from, from the Virians. Fantastic job overall. The Onyx Dragon has moved up. The, there's only two trees between the Onyx Dragon and Taint's Archers, uh, which is terrifying for, for that player. So uh, the wall health is actually 175 million health. That's insane. Um, Archers are just uh, pummeling the, 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 the trees. Uh, there's 35 seconds left in the actual siege. The Cosmic Storms are coming down. The Affliction procs for the trees, uh, they've already died and came back. So now they're, they're finally dropping tag down on the dragon. The dragon drops. So that means that this bomb side is going to actually be able to push through a lot harder. You can see the Moral Boost starting to come out really fast now that the actual... Um, now, now, now that the uh, dragon died and there's no, no affliction keeping those trees back so that they can essentially heal to full health. You can now see tons of resources being pillaged. If you guys were ever curious what it looks like to take a bunch of resources, uh, just watch this. This is so many resources. Uh, we're up to almost 300k. Uh, and you can also see the wall damage. So the wall damage in this is uh, insane. So I think uh, there's nine seconds left and Taint's done already like uh, almost 15 million damage. Uh, resources are just piling up. There are so many resources, over 20 million damage now. Uh, he only has a, a few seconds left. So all this damage kind of came from the very end of the fight once he could actually get onto the, the wall. And that looks like it's 26, 27 million wall damage. Meaning if this person was not the Emperor, then Taint would have capped them, no, no questions asked. So it was 26.4 million damage on the wall. Let's go jump into the next one. So for this next fight, Taint is going up against a human player. So the human player, uh, they have almost 3 million health um, swords on their garrison. They also have 3.1 million damage archers. Uh, uh, they are going with an onyx. We, we don't even need to check this stuff because it's just going to be disgusting and insane and everything's going to be perfect. Uh, they're also using a few packs of Templars. I wonder if these are 10 stars. So these are 9 stars. Interesting. Uh, and as far as heroes, they are going with... Uh, uh, they have a uh, Avalon, uh, Belrog, Rufio... Um, is that uh, Elena and also Nora. So 
Remember guys, these are all people equal or way higher core than Taint. If we go check out the damages and stuff real quick, we can just see massive damage. Nora going ham, Cezeo doing good, Bazrix. Uh, let's go jump in and check out this fight. We'll slow this down so we can actually appreciate this com completely. There's a lot of Templars uh, run running in and uh, Taint again starts off by duplicating the archers in, uh, in the bottom portion. He's only running with two passive archers, so I think that that mirror is probably very critical for him. Uh, Taint jumps in with his Rufio. Uh, just the uh, leap alone did a ton of damage to, to the, the archers. Now he spins his, his Rufio up towards the Dragon Leo's pride proc. Uh, will be coming out very shortly. And you can just see the Taint took half the dragon's health in one hit. Now there's the stun from, from the dragon. Taint's doing another spin. And the dragon is just getting shredded. Uh, the, the humans, because they don't have the actual... Uh, 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 trees like the self player had to like fully block the approach to uh, their dragon. Their dragon is so vulnerable, and Taints Rufio is behind the dragon um, with with no real meaningful damage coming at his Rufio. This bottom side where Taint did reflect uh, all of his archers is doing fantastic. There, there's uh, pretty much a lone Belrog down there with some archers. Now this player has uh, 9.6 mil million uh, health on their wall at this point in time, and Taint is. Just about fully, uh, full, fully collapse all the ground troops. There's, there's a little bit left in this middle portion. The enemy's Belrog on the bottom did die. Flores is there, uh, and uh, or or Elena. The Solaris is, is proc, so everything's ignoring her. Now Tane is finally on the wall. There's 44 seconds, so probably in like the next 10 seconds or so, this player will lose all of their wall health and will be kicked back, back to the capital. Uh, but we can see and we can actually learn a lot from uh, watching these, which is the only reason why we're showing this is for educational purposes. Um, you can attack people that are just as strong as you or stronger than, than you. And with some trial and errors, um, you can find formations that are going to be able to work for you. Uh, if you want to get rich, Go, go hit whales. All right, and for this next fight, Tane is going up against the Lich player. So he's going with the same formation. Lich player, of course, uh, they have the new armor for their Onyx. It's going to be a perfect Onyx. They have uh, some crazy, crazy health stuff. So they have, uh, again, 2.8 uh, million health stalkers. Their Warlocks are going to have 3.7 mil million damage. Uh, Tane's going to do a ton of damage to, to the wall. This player is going with, uh, it looks like, uh, Gazul, Flores, Rufio, Elena, and Nora as far as the heroes. As far as damage dealt, uh, Nora did 1.5 bil billion damage. Absolutely insane. So let's just jump right in. Let's see what, what Tane did uh, going up against Lich. Let's see if he does some, something different. So I don't see, aha, uh -huh. so he did do the... Uh, the reflection at the start for the archers. So that's, that is a common theme I'm seeing. By the way, guys, I'm switching to, to human because I, I think uh, as long as like Kate, Katie and, um, and Tane are around, I want to learn how to siege again and they're going to be the best people to, to, to teach me. Uh, so Tane, Tane starts off with his, his Rufio he, and he goes directly for Gazul. So he did a, a heroic leap in and then Bladestorm towards Gazul, pull, pulls Gazul back. I wonder if he's going to do the third spin with uh, Rufio now and try and uh, fully take out Gazul. So he did do the third spin. Uh, the proc did come out. It did kill off uh, Gazul. So there's no Solaris or Hourglass on, on Gazul. Um, so now all of these skeletons are going to be significantly weaker for, for the Lich player. Tane's doing a fantastic job ke keeping all of his swordsmen alive. His, his Rufio re really did put in some major work there. Uh, enemy's Dragon uh, just uh, blew up his protection. Tane's dropping the Bazrix uh, bat splits down now. Which the Bazrix bat splits is going to just take out anything that that bat splits is under. Uh, Bazrix is, is an amazing hero all around. Um, he is just... Uh, top notch. Uh, another bad splits is down, and now Tain is uh, working on uh, get, getting towards the wall. So he's, I think the enemy player has, a f we'll call it 15 million wall health at, at, at the start of this, or very close to 15 million. And Tain is now getting uh, onto the wall uh, slowly. Uh, he, it's important to note with all of this, he's holding his mana worm until the uh, the end of the fight. So. With the mana worms, especially if it's borrowed, you, you can keep that mana worm back 
And you don't have to awaken it until the end of the battle, if you're winning the battle. Otherwise, you might want to retreat it because ever who you're borrowing it from won't be super thrilled if you don't retreat their, their mana worm uh, and is going to die. So, uh, Tane is now uh, on the wall. He popped the mana worm, and you can just see the wall health just crumbling to these archers. Honestly, after, after watching these fights of Tank going up against uh, insanely strong people that are way stronger than him, I wouldn't be surprised if there's another Tank specific nerf uh, to garrisons in the game. And we have another fight of Tank going up against another Lich player. This Lich player uh, is, uh, wow, so they have level 19 stalkers and these have 4.7 million health. Their dragon has 27 mil million health. Their warlocks are level 19 as well with 5.3 million attack uh the total stats for them these are insane warlocks guys absolutely insane they do have a couple of, of packs of mummies out as well wow okay uh and for their heroes they do have uh rufio avril uh they have nora gazul and elena damage dealt um so taint did over 3 billion damage with nora his uh one pack of archers did 2.5 billion damage another pack did 2.3 billion damage his badrix did 2.5 billion damage this is utterly insane and it looks like um oh my god so it looks like this guy had a full wall because Tane was able to do 35 million damage to this player's wall. Let's go check this out. This is level 19 skeletons going up against Tane. This player is incredibly strong. Uh, higher core power than, than, than Tane. It's, uh, this is unreal. So this is Ruby Dragon going up against Onyx as well. So um, it looks like uh, I, I missed the first. Oh, okay. I see the, the, the Rufio landing spot now for Tane. He's spinning the Rufio towards the uh, dragon. And okay. So now Tane's out of Rufio. One shot half the dragon's health. Utterly insane. Protection proc came out from the dragon. Tane's still sp spinning the Rufio like straight up at the dragon. That wasn't even a Leo's pride proc that I took down the dragon. That was just Rufio spinning into it. That's utterly insane. Um, wow. So things to keep in mind, and, and now Tain is doing his, his Avril, who has the Clash of Fate set on, and uh, so so with, with Tain, all of his hero research is literally maxed out. His prisms, you guys saw, it's all either nine or ten at, as far as the the levels. Uh, the the guy is no joke. The, the crazy part about all of this is in these fights, these people are way stronger than Tane. They're either just as strong as him or way stronger. So keep that in mind because this is insane. You guys at home, if this is something that's totally out of the, the realm of, of possibilities, we'll, we'll speed this one, one up now that he's on, on the wall. And you guys can just watch the wall damage just crumble. If you guys are at home... home you guys can go up against people that, that are stronger than you. You guys can make a difference. You don't have to be a super mega whale. Uh, Tane will make a difference going up against people that are 13 million core power. Three, 3 million core power above him. or fit, He just won a fight going up against somebody with like 15 million core power. That's 5 million core power above him. I get it. They're on totally different different levels. Like, like even me versus Tane. But... You guys at home, you guys can be so impactful during the wars. And for this last fight, we have Tank going up against another self player. Who, uh, this guy has five, uh, I, I'm sorry, 54 million health uh, trees. Uh, their archers, 3.5 million health. Um, uh, a uh, perfect onyx. Um, so let's let's just hop in and watch this because this is. Um, th th this is insane. So uh, this guy is another full wall with. Um, what, what, what is that? 30, 35 million health on, on the wall. Uh, and it looks like, so Taint, Taint did go in with his, his Rufio and now his Rufio is, uh, it looks like his Rufio is a little bit stuck there. Uh, it's not as close to the dragon as I, I think Taint wants it to be. Oh no, he's even spinning the Rufio in the other way. The AI of the dragon actually targeted the Rufio and, and the dragon's like getting pulled out towards the Rufio, which, which is uh, absolutely awesome for, for Taint. Uh, bottom side, he, he's stalling out extremely well for, for right now. Uh, as soon as the, the dragon drops, the bottom side will just crumble because there won't be the flexion there to protect the dragon so much. The dragon's down to, uh, what was that? Probably like 20% uh, health. Um, there's three seconds until Leo's Pride proc comes out. I don't know if Leo's Pride will actually reach the dragon. We'll find out in one second. 
Uh, so it was not able to quite reach the, the, the dragon. Taint does do a uh, resurrection for the swords. I, I'm assuming towards the bottom here. Uh, he might have started losing too many swords. Yeah, you can see a sliver of, of health in this bottom uh, swords unit. Although he does have a Solaris there, but he does not want to lose in any foothold. Uh, now Taint's moving up to uh, hit, hit the dragon. There's a little bit of lagging game. Taint's so awesome that, that it like, likes the game. Now uh, th there's... Uh, a Jax and everything else hit, hitting the dragon. So the Onyx dragon is now down on this bottom side. Now that there's no no affliction to kind of keep these trees alive so that they can then get healed up and everything. Uh, now these trees will just start to get chopped down. Uh, hopefully Tane changes his name to Lumberjack or some, something like that because he is chopping down trees like like no, no tomorrow. Um, it's utterly insane. Uh, this this is a 35 million uh, health wall. Uh, Tane is almost on that wall, and there's uh, about 30 seconds left. Um, he has one more tree to chop down in this bottom portion, which is now dropped. There's 27 seconds left, uh, and Tane is on the wall. Let's see if Tane can get. Um, Oh, okay. He already popped the mana worm. Perfect. Uh, so let's let's see if Taint can actually take take down this wall. There's 20 seconds left. He might not be able to actually get the the full wall. I don't know why I'm doubting him. I, he, he should be able to get it. Like he might not be able to. He might be able to. Um, I don't know. I don't. I think he's gonna get it. Because this damage is still coming out. It looks like he's taking about 1 mil million wall health per second. It's down to 10 million, 9 million. And you can see the timer on, on the, the, the top right. It's just uh, it's going down. And the wall is depleting itself as well. Taint's got this. With, with less than 30 seconds left, Taint, Taint comes through and, and absolutely just crushes the, the, the wall for wall damage. One second left. So in like 20... It was 28 seconds when he had access to the full wall, nothing holding him back, and he had one second left over. So 27 seconds, he was able to do 35 million wall damage. Guys, this stuff is insane. It is next level. If you guys want to see more videos li like this where we can look at some of literally the best players in the world and what they're doing and how they're doing it, let me know in the comment section below if this is something that, that interests you guys. Uh, we, we can do a bunch more of this. Where... We're in a position right now in the game to support and help our friends. Um, and and um, be, because of that, there are some ridiculously strong people and we, we can showcase them here. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. Tain, th thank you so much for, for sharing these. Um, hopefully, uh, this inspires you guys to get out there and siege. I cannot wait. I will be sieging in no time. So with that, guys, please smash the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe. As always, I, I appreciate all of that type of stuff. Go check out the description of this video and all the videos. Uh, we have a bunch of cool things down there, such as uh, Discord, uh, Facebook. We have the merch store, the Patreon page. Thank you very much to the Patreons out there. And I look forward to seeing you guys uh, later on. Have a wonderful day.